Hi, Scott Felser here. Uh, we're talking today about Central American garter snakes. Uh, we'll be touching on the black belly, the Scots, Lake Chapala, the Lake Quitsiensis, uh, also the Mesoamerican Highlands. And I will also talk a little bit about a couple of odd Eastern garters. This is the black belly garter. Uh, these are called the mini anacondas of garters. You notice the heads resemble anacondas. Uh, the black belly has many color varieties. There's a rust color, there's uh, the typical brown, there's also a jet black, and I'll have photos of the jet blacks here coming up shortly. Uh, one of the smaller Central American species, these get roughly about two feet, and um, this is a baby. And we're coming up on the, this is another baby. This is actually a baby that would, uh, is a rust colored baby. This is a melanistic version and uh, jet black. This is a male and it's a recessive trait. And we're coming up on the late Chapala garter snakes. Uh, these are only, only found in Lago Chapala, Mexico. And this is a very large garter species. It gets four feet and uh, these eat large mice. They could easily eat small rats. Um, they produce huge babies. The babies are eight to ten inches long and generally the babies start off feeding like gangbusters. They, they generally do not have problems with babies. This is a baby and another picture of a baby coming up. Here we have the Scots garter. The Scots garter is found in, in and around Lake Magdalena, Mexico. Uh, another extremely large garter snake species. These get four feet as females. Uh, they are, they throw average size clutches, uh, normally 10 to 15. I have one clutch that produced 25. And all the Central American species are docile. This is a group of babies. This is, uh, I believe this is the brood of 25. This is the Lake Quitz garter. Uh, this is found in Lago de Quitzio in Michoacan, Mexico. Uh, another extremely large Central American garter. These get four feet as, as adults. Uh, these also, this is a precaudal tail. This is a defense mechanism with this species. Uh, this, this particular trait uh, within a week, it, it stopped doing this, so it got very comfortable. Um, very interesting species, very docile, and here's a baby. This is the Mesoamerican Highlands Garter, Thamnophis fulvus. This is found in Jalapo in Guatemala. And this is a smaller Central American species. These got about 16 inches tops as females. So it's one of the smaller garter species. This is a baby. Uh, we're coming up on some unusual eastern garters. This is a granite eastern garter. This is an unusual morph that was found up in the northeast. Um, I love the, the pattern. And um, I actually bred this line into the silver bloodline. So just a very interesting pattern overall in the coloration. This is a baby of the, of the granites. Next up is a uh, unusual, this is a possible hypomelanistic Florida Eastern Garter. This picture does not do the snake justice. This snake was extremely light and uh, unfortunately it never bred for me. So I was never able to prove out the trait. This is my website. I've had this website for about six years. Uh, and over to the right is an article that I wrote for Reptile Magazine. This article ran in March of 2004. Uh, thank you very much for looking at my videos, and I uh, appreciate any feedback that y'all have, positive or negative.